Hi, darlings. Today, I started with visiting two supermarkets on the <laughs> on my way. I can say nearby of my home where I live. So I bought some things to eat for myself and to have my breakfast also. Now see my supermarkets I visited. I opened my eyes and the supermarket and now I'm buying some stuff for my Breakfast. So I'm looking at the stuff in the market. I will visit another market after here. That's it. Chicken meat stuff. Now I'm in the another. Supermarket and looking at stuff, cheese and all the parts. As you see, these are belong to Turkish cousin, cousin and. Um, separatable chocolate creams, powers, and fruit jams, marmalas, honey, pork. What I eat in my request, I packed two things. Here is what I'm thinking for my breakfast to eat. Meanwhile, my tea is brewing here. I brew my tea like four to five minutes, but sometimes I extend it to ten minutes, especially when I forget my tea bag in my hot water whatever i hope i won't forget <laughs> now so what are these stuff i pick for my breakfast now i will explain first of all i want to eat my this sandwich it says tada or tada or today <laughs> it's Turkish. Read it first. T A and D A and ex exclamation mark. T exclamation mark D da. Oh my God! I can't spell it. What you were? Uh, you got what I mean. Da excla exclamation mark. So, what ta da means is. In my language, I can't translate it as. Actually, we use it, maybe use it too. I'm not sure. Is it in Turkish culture? Whatever. Tada! You got? It's like, here is something like that, darlings. So, I will let my Tada sandwich pass. What's inside of it? I will tell now. So, my tanda sandwich is 
like this. I can say where it is very soft like cotton. I love it. And you see salami is here. And I uh, it said Dalex cheese salami sandwich. And the bread is so soft. I love salt birds. It comes to me like very fresh. But it looks very neat uh, and delicious. I like the feel on touching and on lip. And this is my first try of this sandwich. I hope I like it. Sometimes I try one fast food like this. I mean, I don't cook anything. I buy sandwich wrap, kind of stuff, and very mighty. And it gets very velvety and very fast and breakfast. I love it. I don't need to give effort to prepare anything just it it's great now i will take my tea bag out of my glass uh, because it has been like four or five minutes styling so it's time to take my tea bag out of the cup after eating my sandwich i may wait to eat this because my team is so tiny, uh, kitten baby girl. So, darlings, I can say it may take some time to start this, but I will look at you so you will watch me eating both of my sandwich and wrap. So, wait on! First of all, I'm whatever you see on my try ass, don't worry, it's not <laughs> it. Sometimes I go, I go so untidy, but I love every condition of me, so you too. So that's it. Darlings, where is my spoon here? I'm mixing, I put two um, dessert spoon of sugar, by the way. I love sugary because I'm so sugary, you know. So darlings, now I'm, I'll start my Tada sandwich. It's my. I love. Uh, I feel like I will love it. My sixth sense decided to feel so. So I agree with my sixth sense. This is a very metaphysical <laughs> connection, as you see. I connect with my food metaphysically and also physically. First, metaphysically, then physically. It's a great. Deal, isn't it? Sorry, it's a great relationship actually. Anyway, darlings, now I can say I'm, I'm starting to open my sandwich seal and taking my sandwich out of the package. Let's see what's inside. Okay. I don't want to spill to my bed much. Let's see. I I think it has cream cheese also beside this cinnable <laughs> cinnable and uh, beside this cheese slices. Also there is cream cheese separated inside of bread darlings and salami chicken salami. Now I'm taking a bite. Mm. Mm. It's so fresh, it's so soft, darlings. I loved it already. I'm showing it in my mouth now. And I'm taking a cup of sip of tea. That's what I love. Pastry tea, tea salami stuff, tea sandwich tea. That's a great deal of food. I love it. For example, I want to tell one of my 
memories I remember myself with my tea and sandwich darlings. Once upon a time, I was traveling in a ship in Istanbul. There are uh, four islands uh, inside the city where you can travel with ship from port in Istanbul. Those islands name Hebelada, Kınalada, Büyükada and and there are there's another there should be four islands, Dalek, Birkada, Kanalada, Hevelada, Burgazada, I think. So, the ship lands off from port, visits these four islands in order. The last island is Birkada. And it is the biggest one between these four islands. Island says its own atmosphere apart from Istanbul's uh, crowded city atmosphere so it's good to visit there uh, when, uh, while in Istanbul and I got on a ship and I was traveling from island to island darlings and I was so hungry then by the way in a ship, there are um, places you can buy food and drink tea and buy drinks. And for sure, I bought tea and to eat with my tea, I bought sandwich. I was wearing my pink mascara and sat on a bench, ship bench, open air bench. Um, and my um, bed, uh, my bed was all sea. I was on the edge of ship, and there were no one on my left and right. And I, I could turn to my left and live, live sea, wash sea actually on my one side, and put my stuff on bed. And I did so. I put my sandwich and tea on my side, and on my right there were sea, and she was moving. It was a great atmosphere to drink my tea, eat my stuff, and watch sea. And wind was caressing my hair. Uh, it was a it was a wonderful weather, not hard, not, uh, it was actually very mellow weather. So I, I ate my stuff comfortably, drink my tea comfortably. I wish I was vlogging those times so I could vlog myself and you could watch my years ago experience. I'm telling now. Anyway, maybe you are my man of my life and I will make this experience with you. Come to you again. I love traveling. I love eating while traveling. I get so hungry. Because I walk as much as I can. I love traveling with my feet also. So I walk in the city. And in, uh, in that day, I walked in the city a lot until reaching the port dialings. And I waited in the port too because, because ships not so rapidly takes off from the port. There are hours like every one or every two hours. Also, it's not uh, ships not working 
24 hour a day there are um, start time and time like for example starts first at 8 am and uh, and stops working after 11 pm so for example if I walk for example when I landed on island if I forgot getting into a ship and get myself lost and wandering the island sit on a restaurant for example while eating if I forget the time I may stuck in that island until the other day <laughs> actually I love such experiences too it's so adventurous I love it I love unplanned adventurous a, a travel experience like that I wish I could stuck on island probably if I had money I would go to a hotel or motel and there are so cute houses in islands uh, so historical so but boutique style houses uh, and islands atmosphere more tranquil more um, Floral, for example, more natural, I can say. So, but I didn't stuck in Ireland. I returned with ship after uh, landing on in Vikada. After landing, it was a hot day. Everywhere was sunny, and um, near a bus, all crowded with people. And I can say I wondered a lot. There were people and um, stalking me, talking with me. I ate fish there, and fish were so delicious. I think I drank also beer, I don't remember exactly, but I drink beer as they serve it in restaurants besides fish, usually. So I don't say no, because especially in Istanbul, I was wondering a lot whether it was too hot and I was getting thirsty a lot. And when they gave me beer, I was drinking it with cheer. <laughs> that was great. I ate fish in Istanbul with beer many times. It's good, darlings. But you were. As I ate my sandwich and drink my, drank my tea in the ship. And then in Birkada, I ate my fish and drank my beer. I was so satisfied from my day travel, darlings. I want to make travel stuck that and vlog it, so support me, please. This sandwich, by the way, really delicious. My sandwich there was good too. Actually, I could make this sandwich so easily, but Grabbing it in the supermarket and thinking I have a sandwich ready to eat and thinking I have ready to eat sandwich now and package waiting for me. It makes me feel so good. 
I love the feel of it. So darlings, I love it is sandwich too. It's not because I'm unable to make it, but it's because I'm able to eat it while it's really <laughs> And turkey. Simit pastry. That circle with sesame on top pastry is very common to have breakfast, for example, or to eat beside tea darlings. Also, with simit and tea. Uh, it's preferred that eating um, cheese in triangle shape, for example, or a cheese plate, or a normal breakfast table. But instant bread, you eat cement. It's such a pleasure. I have that experience too with cement pastry and tea darlings. That time was another day for sure. I ride on a ship again. I slept in an Italian site and I was traveling to European or um, European site of Istanbul and from Kadıköy. I came to Besiktas. In Besiktas, where I landed on from the ship, I mean, where the port is, there were very, very good uh, restaurants or a cafeteria, whatever you call it, and they were preparing breakfast plates, all included plates, and cement on top and seal it. And there were cheese, olives, cucumber, tomato, marmalade, um, and it was so enjoyable experience for me to go there and grab my plate and take my tea and go upstairs. There were a balcony part. I was sitting on there. There were people sitting in front of my balcony but they, they were on ground for sure i was at the balcony upstairs so there was sea also i was watching sea ship port human sitting on another other uh, human sitting on other caf cafeterias open air cafeterias and I was in mansion style restaurant, cafeteria, cafeteria's balcony, having my breakfast. I visited there multiple times. I loved having breakfast there. It was really good. I want to experience it again. I want to have my breakfast in such unforgettable places. I love you, Besiktas. I love Istanbul. <laughs> That's great. By the way, I finished my tea. For sure. I'll get another cup. But I will finish the darlings. They're so great. I feel so fun. Telling my those memories relaxed me so much. And meanwhile, eating my sandwich relaxed me so much too, darlings. Do you want it, my sandwich? So I feel it. Mm. It's really cool quality sandwich. It's not no full of ingredients, darlings. 
But as you know, sometimes when I over put stuff into a sandwich bread, it doesn't come up so well to you. Better balancing it. So this is really satisfying me. As I eat anything, any kind of sandwich can satisfy me actually. And I think all the sandwich is so my mouth. Yeah. I'm so glad as you see. For sure. Now my mouth, all my sandwich I crave for more tea. Just saying, I didn't want to interrupt my shooting myself, I mean my vlogging, because every time I, uh, after I finish my tea, I go and wash it. I don't drink unless I wash it. So I will go to the kitchen and wash my teacup or I, but I will take another clean teacup and make my tea then. Now, next, you will watch my wrap eating. So wait on, I'm coming. Hi darlings, today is uh, tomorrow of my sandwich eating vlog. I mean, I ate my sandwich yesterday and today another day and another breakfast day of me and time is really really late i can say now i think 5 pm i woke up late and until starting to have breakfast i mean until now it i did something 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 so plus my late waking up also getting ready for my breakfast took time so it's very late whatever uh, i will eat my what i shot beside my sandwich bulgur meatball wrap yes darling there is also sauce of it here um it's a wrap inside of it there is a meatball made with bulgur, like kind of falafel, if you know it, but not falafel. It's really a well known uh, food in Turkey. You can uh, see a store of this anywhere at any city, I think. So it's really that's separated food and turkey and now I will eat it why I picked this I don't know my sandwich yesterday I ate in my breakfast was amazing I really loved it I also told about my memories in Istanbul because sandwich and tea made me remember those memories of me I don't know what will I tell today I just want to eat. I'm so hungry. I don't eat anything until now. And I'm opening my package. I hope it's not hard to open. I don't like struggling with opening the package long time. So darlings, there is a sauce. So I need to open it more carefully because I can spill the sauce into my bed i don't want it and so it's really liquid darling my hand so it's like ketchup something oh my god oh my god i need the paper uh, i can't see darling so skin the ketchup like tomato sauce i <laughs> I I put it into my nose while I'm trying to smell it. Oh my god. What's your? It's like a uh, mint adult ketchup, something like that. But I, I, I can't open the wrap part. 
Yes, that's not how it is a packaging system. Okay. Finally, I open up it. That's great, darling. Here is my wrap. It's a wrap bread. I will now, darling, dip to sauce like this. And now I will bite. It's good. See? For sure, it just is different than my sandwich. This one is way, oh my god. Very spicy, very more flavorful. My yesterday's uh, sandwich was more plain, just salami and cheese. This one has lots of spice like pepper, onion, black pepper, cumin. Mm. Lost of spice and burger also not a, a not a plain stuff I can say and not to eat any time of today. For example, for breakfast it may come heavy or late night. First, I dip my wrap again and I'm biting. Thank you, darling. I can say sauce is good to eat with my wrap. It adds um, even more flavor and also some chilliness. And oh my god. Also, it makes easier to chill in my mouth because it's a little, um, how to say it, a little mist sauce. So, has and I did it to my bed. Not meta. On your mm. I ate my burger meat my meatballs anywhere I stayed I changed my cities in Turkey and I ate meatballs in all states, I think, because it's kinda tasty, practical, easy to find, and not expensive food, and also nutritious. So, it's a really handable choice in hunger times when I want to eat something quick something cheap I'm dipping sauce again here is in all times this balloon is false were being made with raw meat. Then, because of health concern, uh, now is uh, generally made without raw meat. Rather, they put 
walnut, for example, nuts, or maybe very rare uh, cookers putting cooked meat, maybe, and some very less or unknown ones, lesser portion of bulgur meat ball sellers putting raw meat in it maybe i don't know but it's not like lighting so um putting raw meat maybe only uh, possible and its origin cities i think it's origin city urfa and in urfa for example while cooking um, family circle uh, they put raw meat putting raw meat for sure making it more more nutritious and more more delicious but also raw meat uh, may include some uh, microbes bacteria whatever so i'm not sure uh, spice in it how much prevents bacteria microbes Whatever, so darlings, whatever. This one is not cut with raw meat, so it has no health concerns related with put the raw meat issues. And I'm dipping to myself and take another bite. For sure, not all bulgur meatball sellers make it the same way and the same task. So, when in Turkey, you should try um, different meatball stores and then choose what's your favorite or those being sold in supermarkets is another choice and um, it's up to me actually. Wherever I want to buy it, I buy it from there. There's another issue with bulgur meatballs that many of bulgur meatball sellers uh, kneading the bulgur with their hands. And it makes it may make some people be thoughtful about it because you know you can't know how clean the hands are and it's it doesn't look hygienic also so it's another concern uh, about these meatballs but some stores some sellers make it on missions but mission ones uh, has its own test they made with hands ones has uh, have their own test darlings for sure made with hands more tastier generally but it should be made with fully clean hands so i don't know here's i'm taking another bite It's the saturating choice, darlings, I can say. Um, even a man with a tummy 100 bigger than me. <laughs> is, is it possible? Whatever. He can be saturated with this bulgur meatballs with very small quantities than in normal food so it's a saturating choice for example my sandwich or this more saturating this one more saturating but you know i have a small tummy so my sandwich of yesterday also saturated me very well i'm so happy
<laughs> All right, the previous ones in my mouth to be finished before I bite this, and I can bite this now. It's really great. There is also kids um supermarkets or online. You can buy it and make your own meatball uh, burger meatballs at home. Once I've tried it, darlings, it wasn't bad. For sure, um, it was different taste than this one because it changed according what kind of spice. What kind of veggies you use that? There are lots of stuff. Uh, I mean, it has many ingredients. But for sure, not all major, uh, makers of this putting same ingredients, same that much, uh, same in same varieties. So, <laughs> mine was very good too. But you know, it's pre pre pre. Oh my god, pre prepared. I didn't put extra ingredients, so it wasn't my own recipe. I just tried it that way. But I want to cook with all my ingredients on my uh, according only my mind. If you subscribe me and make me, sorry, watch me, sorry, oh my god, I couldn't say it. If my subscribe amount reach to 1 million, I will make my own bigger meatballs in front of you, yes? <laughs> That's great decision of me, isn't it? I'm so amazing as you see. I want to drink tea and my last piece left to eat. I want to take a slow to make me watch longer. As you see, I eat so much, but I look so fit as the fittest player of the world. So, you know, I'm so unique and so spectacularly fabulous. Yes, it's me. My breakfast really cheered me up, it gave me more energy. More, how to say it, motivation. That's great for me. You know, I need to keep myself uh, well fed for my psychology, health, mood. That's important. So, my man of my future should feed me with all highest quality ingredients, highest quality feed, highest quality meals. That's it. <laughs> and darlings, as you see, I finished my sauce of my burger meatballs and there is only one portion left to it and I'm now taking my last piece into my mouth I'm so happy oh my god very hot my hair working like <laughs> oven and I'm is past this. 
But I, I love my hair. I love uh, letting my hair stream like this. I'm so beautiful. My hair is so uniquely amazing, you know. And I know you love my hair so much. So I love even the sweat it makes on my body. And and I'm drinking my tea also, darling. I didn't tell any memories because uh, I think I have um, more memories with sandwich and tea. <laughs> I know. Uh, as I told you, I ate burger meatballs in many places in many cities in Turkey. Also, my dad was uh, cooking it. So, it's not a easy meal to cook, darlings. Uh, to cook manually without any preparation. Uh, sorry, without any pre-made uh, packets. Uh, because it takes a lot of time to knead the burger with all the ingredients in order. And like a machine, uh, I need it, need it, need it, and I need to make burger soft. So it's hard. So not easy. So my man should have really good muscles to cook it for me because I requested. You know, I can't cook such hard job meals. I can cook, but not always. I can cook just like a uh, lot, uh, just to show you maybe, etc. So, for example, I can cut big meat too. So I need help. Uh, I need my I need um hard to do parts of cooking be handled by my man. A feature. I'm single now. I'm just telling. I finish my burger meatball. Uh, burger meatball wrap, darlings. Package totally empty. I'm proud of myself. Now I will finish also my tea in front of you. And I finished my tea too. That's a great breakfast. That's um, my real amazingness, as you see. And so much thanks for watching me. You will watch me always, don't worry. And I'm kissing you. And subscribe me. And it's so much subscribers, you know, to encourage me and support me. And write me good, uh, nice comments to support me also. Thank you for watching me, darlings. Until watching me in my next vlog. So it's my previous vlogs. And, and I can say, see you next time.